What's up guys, Friday afternoon and we're loading up today. I'm gonna to have a talk to you about solar panels, specifically the Red Arc Solar Blanket. Now the Red Arc Solar Blanket, we've been running for years. Um, and for me, there is so much solar available, so many different brands available on the market now. It is absolutely ridiculous. But I'm gonna start this video by saying, you get what you pay for. And that's the same with, I think, majority of especially electronic gear. And I can tell you right now, the more that you spend on the technology that goes into the solar, the better uh, voltage you're gonna produce into your trailer. And that is just a given, there is absolutely no way around it. You cannot beat um, this folding solar blanket as far as I'm concerned. And we do it, Patriot Campers, we sell other brands. But for me, personally, this is the only one that I'll take away on the trip with me. Now this is my personal blanket. You can see, you know, it's got a bit of muck on it. This thing's been gurneyed and hosed and all sorts of stuff. And it still looks um, really good. When it comes to solar, there's really two choices that you need to make. Do you want something portable or do you want something fixed? And I run both. So on the top of all of my touring rigs, and let's talk about specifically, say, the black truck, um, I've got a 150 watt monocrystalline fixed panel on the roof of that vehicle. Now, when you're in full sun, obviously, you're gonna be charging all the time. But I'll tell you right now, and I've said it in other videos, the first thing that I do when I set up a campsite or drive into a potential campsite for the night is I'll look for somewhere nice and shaded um, to set up. And obviously that depends on the temperature of the area that you're in. We're generally traveling, traveling around up north. We want those late afternoons, um, you know, nice shade, have a beer. And, and probably more importantly, when you wake up in the morning, you know, the sun comes up up there at 5 a.m. and it's just banging into your tent, it gets hot real quick. So that being said, that's where you fix solar panel, they, they kind of come out of play. And you need something portable. Outside of obviously the, the portability uh, issue, there's different types of uh, cells that you can buy. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and pretend that, that I know everything, well, look, you can see, you know, there's always gear in there. I don't know everything about the electronics um, when it comes to how the solar panels are produced, but what, the thing that I do know about these, they're an amorphous uh, cell. And what that means to me is, um, is they capture all spectrums of light. So different solar panels, from my understanding, different solar panels will only take on certain light uh, spectrums and convert that into power to go into whatever you're charging. What I can tell you firsthand is there is no other solar panel that I have personally ever tried that will put the voltage into uh, my gear, into my trailer that one of these things will. And you can tell I'm a little bit passionate about this solar blanket because this, this is really one of those products that I can tell you right now, 100%, I'll personally put my name behind it. If you invest into one of these, you will not be disappointed, I guarantee it. With, um, with solar, for me, is it a 100% reliable source? Definitely not. It's not something that I rely on, that I would go out on a big trip and say, right, I've got a solar blanket or I've got, got a solar panel, I'm good to go. I think solar, it's obviously your greenest source of energy, of uh, your greenest way of charging your batteries, but I would always rely on another source on a big trip. Now we only use Red Arc BMSs, so it's worth noting that this solar panel will connect straight into uh, a BMS, and on all Patriot um, gear that we use, so our Super Tour range and all of our camper trailers, you've always got a solar, an Anderson plug solar input, so you connect straight in, and then you connect this end uh, to the panel. So this really long cord uh, comes with uh, the solar panel. Now let's talk about the flexibility, obviously, of uh, a folding solar blanket. You can see what I've done here. If you, your car's in full sun, you can lay this out across the bonnet. You can lay it over the top of your camper trailer. But with that long cord there, you can get it away uh, from your campsite. So if you are camped in the shade, like I said, uh, you run the cord out. You can buy multiple cords, so you can daisy chain them together and go as long as you want and stick this out into full sun. These things genuinely are tough. I know I just said before that you can gurney it, but guys, please check with Red Arc. I don't know whether that's, I'm actually meant to say that, but I, I have done it before in the past when they've come back filthy. Um, but you know, you can't damage it. What I said before, if you do manage to damage one of these cells, uh, by any way, and I don't know how you do it, but let's say you did, you're not dead in the water, it's just gonna knock out that cell and all the other cells will just keep on pumping in. Um, the power into your trailer. 
maybe the only other thing I'll touch on is uh, lithium and solar. Lithium and solar work hand in hand um, together. If you are running lithium batteries in your, in your setup, uh, you're gonna get a lot more out of a, a solar uh, panel or a solar blanket with a lithium battery because of the absorption rate um, of lithium. Lithium will absorb solar so much more efficiently um, than an AGM or a gel battery or any other style of battery. I'll quickly show you how to pack them up. Uh, weight, I'm not sure. I would say that's probably around sort of four kilo. Um, Red Arc Solar Blanket, check them out. Friday afternoon, I'm gonna finish loading up and I'm out of here.